Well, right now we are waiting on former President Trump to take the stand in his defamation trial. E. Jean Carroll says Trump defamed her, defamed her after she came forward back in 2019, accusing him of sexual assault decades earlier. Now, a jury already found him liable for sexual abuse and the judge has already found Trump guilty of defamation. The question right now is how much he'll have to pay. News Nation's Dre Clark is outside of the federal courthouse in Manhattan. And Dre, what do we expect when Trump does eventually take the stand? Well, that is the, the one million dollar question exactly. How will Mr. Trump handle himself when he takes the stand, if and when he takes the stand this afternoon? Uh, because Judge Kaplan has set such strict uh, guidelines here. But we should know sooner than later exactly how this will all play out in court. Right now, court is in recess for the next 45 minutes or so. Uh, for lunch, a little earlier today, E. Jean Carroll's legal team rested their case. And so now it is the defense's turn to argue their case in court. And Alina Hawa, Mr. Trump's attorney, the first witness she called today was Carol Martin, who was a longtime friend and former colleague of E. Jean Carroll. Uh, Martin testified in a separate case that after the alleged sexual abuse happened, that E. Jean Carroll told her about what happened. Uh, and she said she told Carroll not to say anything publicly, not to come forward because Mr. Trump had too many lawyers and just uh, too much power. She said she certainly regrets saying that to her uh, years later. Also, Haba questioning Martin about some text messages that she sent. Uh, one of those messages referred to E. Jean Carroll's, quote, narcissism. And in another text message, uh, Carroll said to her daughter that E. Jean Carroll is like a drug addict and the drug is herself. Certainly not very flattering text messages at all. Uh, but those did come up in court today. Now, after uh, Carol Martin, uh, Carol Martin rather, testimony concludes, then we are expecting to hear from the former president. He will take the stand. At last check, his attorney says he is still planning to do that. But again, when he takes the stand, Mr. Trump will be testifying under some very strict guidelines set by Judge Kaplan. Judge Kaplan says Mr. Trump and his attorneys, they are not allowed to argue or even suggest that Mr. Trump did not sexually assault E. Jean Carroll or defame her. He says that's already been proven in separate cases. Nor can the former president mention to the jury that he believes E. Jean Carroll is lying or that her story is a fabrication and that she only came forward with her claims uh, for money and political reasons. Now, if Mr. Trump does stray outside those guidelines as possible, the judge could stop him from testifying immediately and then kick him off the witness stand. Now, as we know, the judge and Mr. Trump does have uh, somewhat of a bitter history here because last week, Judge Kaplan threatened to remove Mr. Trump from the courtroom because he was allegedly talking too loudly and saying disparaging things about Carol while she testified. Now, Mr. Trump was initially scheduled to testify on Monday, uh, but one of the jurors complained of feeling ill while on the way here to the courthouse. The court administrator told that juror to turn around, go home and take a, a COVID test. Uh, and then uh, Elena Haba also told the judge on Monday she was not feeling well. And so the Judge Kaplan went ahead and canceled court. Uh, and then you had the New, the New Hampshire primary on Tuesday. So the, the president was very, former president was very busy on that day. So Judge Kaplan ultimately deciding that today would be the best day to resume the trial for all parties involved. Back here live here outside the courthouse in lower Manhattan. Again, we are expecting a Mr. Trump to take the stand after uh, e, uh, Ma Mar Carol Martin concludes her testimony here. Meanwhile, E. Jean Carroll is asking uh, this jury to award her no less than $10 million in damages. Nicole. All right. Yeah, a lot to keep an eye on there, Dre. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.